and welcome back quick video just to show you the progress thus far we've got our horizontal beams in place as you can see uh, four that'll just go across once again we worked on this far corner got our horizontals where we wanted it and then just carried that measurement across into the center so there's that center where we have two so you have 10 foot sections that go either direction uh, you'll see some blue paint on here that's just where we were doing touch up where we scratch the paint underneath and again it is galvanized it's probably not 100 percent necessary to do that but again the paint's just an extra layer of protection but bring you back when we get some panels on it and we're back and as you can see we've got all 18 panels installed at this point. Um, I didn't film the process of it because it's really just putting the, the brackets in place and kind of tightening down all the fasteners. Uh, as you can see, uh, we went ahead and trimmed up our Unistrut on the side once we had our panels in place and just kind of hit everything with a little bit of paint because they were cut and exposed ends. And don't worry, we'll eventually get some more black paint and go over this just so it all matches. But Blue is what we had for now, so blue is what we used. And the way these panels are configured is they're all in six panels in a series pair. So you've got three series pairs of six panels a piece. So that gives us roughly about a hundred and uh, depending on the obviously the how good the sun conditions are anywhere between 120 volts and about 140 volts uh, which are intolerances of the charge controller so these panels you see here once we get the combiner box mounted which uh, still needs to be done as well as uh, proper grounding uh, they'll be tied into the charge controller that runs the other 100 watt panels just like these that are currently in the front yard what we ended up with on our degree of slope was right at 30 degrees is what we settled on which is the same degree of slope that the panels that you saw in the front yard in the earlier video also use so we're just kind of keeping everything the same now is a 30 degree slope optimum optimum for my area all year round no no it's not just like at most of the locations here as you progress in the summer uh, and then transition the winter then your technically your slope of your panel should change now I'm not planning on varying these so certain times of the year they will be more efficient than other points of the year uh, but just like many individuals who have uh, fixed uh, solar systems even on their roofs uh, you're, you're gonna have one angle um, and them not be adjustable now you can get ground mount solar kits that do allow you to adjust the angle of the panels uh, which are great, but those kits are rather expensive. Uh, that's why we elected to go with Unistrut and just kind of follow the angle of the production kit that Renogy put out of the stands in the, the front yard from that earlier video. Now, unfortunately, Renogy didn't sell those kits anymore, so it kind of forced us to get a little bit creative and come up with our own solution. But as you can see, this worked out quite well. And again, we did paint it, uh, as we stated before, probably not completely necessary uh, as all the super strut is galvanized, but uh, again, it's just that extra layer of protection. And we did the same thing here. We trimmed off our excess unistrut, uh, super strut pieces, just hit with a little bit of paint. And, and once again, as we stated earlier, we'll come back with a little bit of black paint and we'll eventually hit that, just kind of get everything to match. So again, as you see it here, it is 18 panels total, nine on top, nine on bottom, and they're configured in the top three and the bottom three, which make up six, are all in series, then the next set, next six in series, and the final third set in series. Those will get put into a combiner box, which will be mounted to one of the rear super strut legs, and the output of that box will eventually make its way around and join the main combiner boxes on the side of the house that are below the panels you see here 
Now we're going to be doing some cleanup on the wiring because uh, it has changed and there's been kind of additions put in place over the years of doing this. We're going to consolidate that wiring, get it cleaned up, make it look a little bit more presentable, and then we'll be tying the new panels into the same combiner box that currently handles the other 100 watt panels you see in the stands of the yard. So that was our, one of our reasonings for going with 100 watt panels because you may be asking yourself the question, why go with uh, 1800 watt panels when you could have gotten 200 or 250 and even three or 350 watt panels? Is that one, we knew we were gonna tie this into the charge controller that handled the other 100 watt panels in the front yard as you've seen. So we wanted to keep that the same. And also these 100 watt panels, a lot of times if, you're, uh, if you have an Amazon account and Amazon warehouse deals, these 100 watt panels come up quite often uh, as um, uh, basically return items. And so far all of these panels that were purchased uh, have come in with zero issue. They weren't even used, so they look like just panels that customers had purchased, and when they got them in for whatever reason, they decided they didn't want them. They ship them back to Amazon, and Amazon gives you a little bit of discount and sells them at a, at a used price. So you can save a little bit of money, so it kind of worked out well for us cost-wise, as well as, again, keeping them the same to tie in to the other 100-watt panel strings in the, in the yard there. Now, one thing that did happen is that the 100 watt panels in the front yard are Renogy panels as well, but it's a little bit older of a panel. In other words, the panels are wider. This is what they call their slim series. So it's a little bit uh, narrower and not quite as tall as the ones in the front yard. But one thing kind of bit us in doing this, and if you're watching the camera real closely, you'll see it as we transition to the last six panels. You'll notice these cells are a lot more square and look a little bit different than the cells that you see here. You'll see here the kind of corners just kind of go off at an angle. And even though the panel height, as you can see, is the same, the width of these panels actually are a little bit wider than these panels. So when we're putting our array together today, not knowing they had changed the design of these slim panels. Uh, luckily, uh, we did uh, when we were placing our order, because we were ordering these last year throughout the year as they would come up on a warehouse deal. And luckily, we ordered enough panels that we can keep our, our gap and our spacing consistent. Uh, and our final six panels were all these newer slim designs that were just a little bit wider. So it, it worked out in our case so we didn't have to mix a newer slim design with an older slim design. And yeah, it's just cosmetic and we just throw the look off a little bit, but you know, it looks a little bit better when you kind of keep everything grouped together. And unless you really walk up on it, you can't really tell that, again, this newer panel is just slightly wider uh, than this older panel. Other than that, that is it for at least getting the uh, frame itself installed and getting the panels applied. Again, we, we still have to get some ground rods sunk into the ground, get everything properly grounded, uh, get these three strings into a combiner box so we can take that single output, route it around to the main combiner box on the side of the house. So there's still quite a bit of work done, uh, but there's been quite a bit of work done to get to this point. And again, uh, we elected to go this route uh, because it was uh, phenomenally less expensive uh, to build it this way than what it would have been if, you would have, if we would have gone with a commercial uh, ground-mounted kit. Well, that's it for now, and uh, we'll bring you back as things progress. Thank you.